This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by AMD. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. We are now in the next generation for console gaming. And the PS4 was the first to launch with some next generation graphics and everybody had high expectations and high hopes for what they were gonna be bringing to the plate. And visually, I would say they are not disappointing at launch. Now the first game I'm gonna show you is Killzone Shadowfall, which is kind of the highlight of the PlayStation 4 at launch here. Now the game itself, as far as gameplay mechanics and story and all that stuff, I'm not really a big fan for. But this game is that one game that's gonna be able to show what the PlayStation 4 is capable of producing on your television screen and the visuals are top notch. The lighting is just fantastic and also just the details in the levels and you're navigating through some huge levels. You're able to view off in the distance and see things happening in the city and all the types of building and stuff. So they definitely took their time visually with Killzone. Again, the rest of the game kind of is a letdown for me, but visually it's really awesome. So we're going to take a look at some more footage. And now the next game I'm going to show you is NBA 2K14. And this game has launched on the Xbox 360 and the PS3, but it looks definitely upgraded here for the PlayStation 4. And I thought it looked awesome on my 360, but when I played on the PlayStation 4, it looks extremely realistic. Where at some points I'm watching it and it feels like I'm actually watching a real game. From the player animations to the just the models of their faces that they took from digital archives and just really mastered everything when it comes to the aspect of basketball. Ball. And one of my favorite games back in the day used to be NBA Live, but NBA 2K14, um, easily, as far as mechanics and just the way the, the game flows, uh, has really just taken over that number one spot, and it's been like that for the past few years now. And one of the things I brought up to one of my friends as we was playing against each other, that LeBron James, the back of his neck is actually darker than the rest of his face, and that's how it is in real life. For some reason, the back of his neck is darker, and they actually had that detail in the game. And so if you're really looking for that next generation game when it comes to graphics and gameplay, the way they take advantage of the new DualShock 4 controller and the touchpad. NBA 2K14 is one of my top choices. Chris Bosh, oh man. Some hang time on that rim puts a little whipped cream on that angel food cake there. <laughs> it's, it's a tight ball game, <laughs> and those displays of strength, Clark can get one team rolling. Now the last game I'm going to show you is called Rezo Gun, and this may be my favorite out of the bunch. And this is actually a free game for PSN users, and you can download it from the PlayStation Store and try it out, and it's an awesome game. And it really reminds me of Geometry Wars. It gives me that same type of feeling while I'm playing it. And it's a very simple game. You got the left joystick that can actually move your ship, and then the right joystick is actually going to control um, the firing of your weapon. You can just rotate it all around uh, to go left or right. And you're just trying to not to die and get through the level and save humans that are in these boxes and sometimes they explode and they start walking on the ground you need to pick them up and, and drop them off in one of those floating pods and you'll get extra lives and different things like that and it's a very awesome game that visually has a lot of stuff going on it's a lot of different just molecules of stuff just flying all the way around even though I know it's not a molecule that's way too small but you get my point there's a lot of debris going on and a lot of destruction that's happening on the screen at the same time so this is that one addictive game that I like to have in my game library that I can pick up at any time during the day and start playing and then the next thing I know an hour or two hours has gone out the window uh, because this game it just keeps you just trying to beat your, your score and trying to get through the levels as fast as possible and with your highest score uh, so Rezo Gun is one of my favorite launch titles and is that free game out there that I think everybody should have if you own a PS4. And so with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. I just want to show you some of the games on the PS4 and graphically, visually, how do they look and how do they compare against the rest of the market and especially current generation systems. You can see that PS4 is capable of putting out some really impressive games and I can't wait to see what games come out, you know, six months from now and a year from now and even two years from now. And so what do you think about these games being shown? What are your favorite games in the PS4 launch lineup? And also too, what do you think is going to be better? PS4 or Xbox One? Leave Leave your comment down below and thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.
And today's sponsor is the chip manufacturer AMD. Now, if you didn't know, AMD is powering the new consoles coming up from Sony and Microsoft, the PS4, and the Xbox One. So you know they can put some power inside of their chips. They can also put some power in some consumer devices like this two-in-one laptop slash tablet. And this design gives you the best of both worlds, but it really can't do it without that powerful AMD chip inside of it. And so for real-world users, the AMD processor inside of this thing will be able to let you play the latest games and then switch over to word processing or browsing the web. And it's going to also take advantage as the all-day battery life that this laptop slash tablet can get. And so all in all, a device like this needs power and solid battery performance, and AMD definitely delivers with their chip inside of it, which makes this device very good to use, and I think you'll like it as well.